Hi everyone, Gina with Belly Beats here today to bring you a tutorial on how to create some shapes in your Cricut machine. And I love my Cricut machine so much, I had to go out and purchase another one. So now I have two and my production has been up and that is the reason why. Um, all right, so enough of that and I'm gonna start here. Let's begin with, of course, in the, um, you're in your canvas, Cricut canvas. Open that up. Once you've opened Cricut Design Space and selected a new project, we're going to click on the Shapes button and select Triangle. Click on Shapes again to collapse the menu. Now we have a triangle. I like to change the color from the drab gray. Let's pick a nice bright color. Now we're going to change the size, but first we need to unlock the proportions. If we don't, every change we make to one dimension, it will automatically change the other. That's fine if you want symmetrical shapes, but in this case, we don't. Now I want you to make the height 21 centimeters and the width 2.54 or one inch. I prefer to use metric measurements because they are more accurate. I like to move my shapes all the way to the top of the canvas. When I make any type of cone shape strip, I always make a small straight edge at the end so the bead has a nice solid core. You'll see why when you roll it. So let's click shape again and this time click on square. Let's change the color on this one also. We'll use a lighter shade. Now we're going to unlock the proportions like so and change the height to 1.7, a half an inch. And now we'll change the width to 2.54, the same as the triangle. And again, let's drag that rectangle down to the bottom of the triangle. Now let's select both the shapes and we're going to click up here on the align menu and click center horizontally. This will align both shapes. Now we will need to make the shapes butt up against each other. We made our triangle 21 centimeters long. So if we go up here to our vertical position on Y and make it 21 centimeters, you'll see that the shapes are aligned perfectly. Next, we wanna select both of the shapes. We can drag and select them or we can click on the select all button up here. Now we want to come down here and, and click Weld. This welds the two shapes together, forming one new shape. Now we want to drag it up to the top of the canvas, the left side, and you can see up here at the position that both coordinates are zero. Next, we're going to right click on the shape and select Duplicate. Now let's flip this one vertically and drag it close to the first one like so. You wanna leave a little space between them. Now I'm going to select both of the shapes and do the same thing again. I will keep duplicating the shapes like this, making sure that the spaces between are pretty equal. I know that may sound like a lot to do, but it works and it works successfully. So take your time and be patient with it. And we'll do this until we get as close to, but not greater than 29 centimeters width. So let's duplicate two more here and let them line them up. As you can see, they don't go past the 29 centimeter mark because you can't make a project wider than 29.21 centimeters or you're gonna get an error message when you try to cut it out. All right, you can see here that when I add one more shape, it lines up past the 29 centimeter mark. Hopefully you can see that. So let's select it and click delete. Now, we're gonna select all 
and come up here to align and click distribute it, distribute horizontally. And this makes all the shapes equally distant. All right, now you have extra space here at the bottom of the page. So we're gonna add a few down here. First, we'll select a few and duplicate them. And now we'll come up here to rotate and type in 90 to rotate these sideways. And now we will drag them down to the bottom of the page like so. And now we'll click on the rotate handle on the shape and make them line up as straight as we can. And again, take your time with this. And next we'll drag them up closer. And you'll notice here that the shapes go past the 29 centimeter mark. So we want to delete these too. I know it sounds like a lot, but it works. Next, we're going to get ready to make these strips. First, I want to show you what happens when you try to make it. The software automatically spaces all of the shapes apart onto multiple mats. I'll show you how to get them onto one mat. Okay, now first click cancel. Now we're ready to try again. Let's select all and we're gonna come down here and click attach. All right, now click make it. And now they're all on one mat. And then when you're ready, load up your Cricut and just click continue. Now I don't have uh, it set up here yet, but if you click continue, you will notice um, the light on your Cricut will flash and uh, you're ready to go. And it'll say make it. All right, well, that's all for today. I appreciate everyone's time and there will be more tutorials coming. So have fun and if you have any questions, please, please, uh, you know, direct message me and I will help you out as much as, you can, as I can. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click subscribe and click on the bell so it will remind you and um, of my next tutorials and uh, share. Thank you very much. Have a great day.